My name is Tom Wall. I'm a juggler. I kind of grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. I lived there on and off for about 10 years. I've been on the road for about seven years, touring with my own show and with uh, Cirque du Soleil, a show called Totem. So the amount that I practice every week, it really varies quite a bit. Okay, so when I'm on a show, I'll usually train between two and six hours a day. Um, and that, when I say training, that could mean a lot of different things. That could mean, uh, I mean, obviously juggling and working on new skills. It could mean rehearsing the number for the show. It could also mean uh, like rehab or prehab for my shoulders, my rotator cuff muscles. You know, when you have a really heavy show load, you want to make sure that you're staying healthy. But I do a lot of uh, technical drills as well and things to ensure that you've got a strong foundation as time moves on. So when I warm up, I'll usually do you know a couple of push-ups, do a couple of things to sort of get the get the muscles moving. I know you probably can't tell that I do any push-ups at all. <laughs> Um, I am a really strong proponent for a style of training that uses sight swaps as a way to make sure that everything is proportional. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll start off my day by juggling three balls, super, super tall, you know, start low, start tall, then I'll move on to five balls, low, then tall, usually going for an endurance run of around five minutes. Yeah, and then after that I do what I call my 20s, which are a series of five ball sight swaps that I run for 20 cycles each, so like 753, 744, 645. Etc. 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 All the basics, all the good stuff. That really depends. I wouldn't say that I ever work on any one particular move or trick more than any other. Um, you know, if I'm training to uh, if I'm training to get ready for a show, you know, certainly what I'm going to be doing is centered around the sequences within the show. I'll be training the music. It's more of a rehearsal than a, than a training session. I've been working on a lot of combination tricks recently. Um, you know, like the Brun finish, you, know, you have two hoops on the leg, two hoops on the arm, a spin, a balance, and a juggle on the other side. You can either look at that as one trick, or you could see that as many tricks that are, that are combined. So I, I usually train all the permutations that, are, that live within that trick. So, you know, I'll work on two hoops on the leg and work on, you know, a six ring pattern. Or I'll work on two hoops on the leg with a balance and a juggle on one side. Or a balance, the juggle, and then the spinning and the, you know, the ring spinning and the, the object spinning on the finger. I'm a really strong proponent of, this is going to sound kind of like hippie, I guess, but, you know, like following your bliss, following your internal syllabus if you're more of a pedagogically minded person. You know, if you're not having fun while you're training, I'm not saying that all training needs to be fun. Certainly there is a lot of grind that's involved with it. I really only work on tricks that I'm super excited about or things that are going to be going on stage sometime soon. Um, I always say that in order to perfect a trick, you need to learn how to do it with a balance. When I was really working on getting a five ball routine solid in a show that I was working on, I started working on doing the entire routine or versions of all the tricks in the routine with the club balanced on my forehead. And I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, you have a super technical five ball routine. I'm not going to do the whole five ball routine with a balance, obviously, but, you know, if you're working on a five ball shower, learning how to do a four ball shower with an object balanced on your head is going to help you in terms of precision later on. Yeah, it's an important skill to cultivate, absolutely. Again, I think, I think it depends on the kind of show that you're getting a trick ready for. The routine that I perform in Cirque du Soleil, it's, it's pretty fixed, you know, and I, I do it the exact same way, throw for throw. I've done it for around a thousand shows now. Usually in a day, if it's a two-show day, I'll run the act a total of ten times throughout the day, and then, you know, you add the two performances in the middle, so if you can do your act 12 times in a row droplessly, I guess maybe it's ready. Um, my own performance and my own shows, they're, they're a lot more human, I would say. It's more about making a connection with the audience. So you can get away with maybe being a little droppier and letting people in on the, uh, I don't, don't want to say like the struggle of being a physical performer, but maybe that's the best way to say it. <laughs> Practice advice for young jugglers just getting started would definitely be learning to balance an object on your on your face. You know, your face if you're choosing, chin, nose, or forehead, um, as early on in your training career as you possibly can. Um, and that's valuable because it really teaches you where your center line is, and it teaches you a lot about your posture. Um, and the center line thing is important because, you know, if you're working on, say, a five ball cascade, and you want to know exactly where that crossing point is, you need to have some idea of where your center is, because the crossing point is the center of the pattern, which is in the same, the same vertical line as your body, right? So, uh, so yeah, so the sooner that you can really attend to that in the back of your mind, the better, absolutely. So yeah, learning to juggle three clubs with the balance, you know, four balls with the balance, anything like that is really helpful. Like Anthony Gatto, like the first drill, he, when he was like four years old, you know, he'd go back to his dad's, you know, I think he had like a cigarette shop in Maryland or something. Um, 
and his dad would throw a ball at him and he'd have to hit it back just using his head. That was before he learned to juggle at all. He learned to balance a teaspoon on his nose before he could juggle. At least that's the story I've heard. I don't know how true that is. How did they get a hold of me? Uh, well, my email is tom at tomwall.com. That's T-H-O-M-W-A-L-L. -L. My website is tomwall.com. I have a blog that talks a lot about training, uh, a lot of stories on the road, you know, like how to get the gig, how to, how to deal with things, how to write a routine. Um, a couple more, you know, personal videos of uh, just sort of life on the road with Soleil. I just got back from 18 months in Japan. I have an Instagram account, which is just at Tom Wall Juggler, T H O M W A L L Juggler, and also a Facebook, I guess, fan page, professional page, which you can find if you either type in Tom Wall Juggler or Tom Wall Vaudeville Sensation. That's me. <laughs> awesome. That's super great. Yeah, cool. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man.